Oh, do you want to end your a second? I have a story to tell. Well, this story starts when I worked for CNN. I was asked if I do a report on the Ku Klux Klan. Whatever, where I go and meet since I communicate with everyone and I get along to do a report with a member of the Ku Klux Klan, a leader in Georgia. So I did. I went to meet with him. During this meeting, he liked the way I thought and I, you know, communicated that I wanted everyone to get along in all races. So he asked me would I go to a clan get together between the Ku Klux Klan and the skinheads from all around America and I would meet and do an interview with the grand wizard of all the Ku Klux Klan. I did. During this get together they had in the forest I met the Grand Wizard, the Grand Dragon. Um, I do not remember his name. But during this meeting, I was allowed to stay at the weekend get together. During this get together, a lot of things happening, including the meeting again of Dennis Armstrong and John Andrew Porter, the war between us raging still. As this meeting went on, I met different people from around the United States who were a part of the Lucas Klan and the skinheads. I talked to them all. I even helped get them together. But I also talked to them in understanding the plight of the African American, Native American in the United States. As they showed me maps on how they wanted to separate America, I convinced them it's not the right thing to do. You divide America, eventually one side's going to take out the other side, and there'll be nothing left but for anyone. Of course, I met people from North Las Vegas. Yes, North Las Vegas, men and women from different religions, one of them being the Mormon community. Yes, the Mormon community. The Mormon community that I'm a part of. See, I met a paramedic, or excuse me, a, well, yeah, not a paramedic, but a military man who is a, uh, Paramedic, you're a yeah, not a doctor, but uh, he was in the military, the army. He introduced me to different members from North Las Vegas. As they were meeting me, I met another African American man who was doing security. I gotta say his name. He expressed everything he knew to me. See, I'm a reporter for CNN at this time, for Ted Turner. He asked me to do this at the time. So, as I'm saying, I met these members. I talked to them. I found out their religion. As I'm talking to them, they brought more and more members over to listen to me. Because, see, it wasn't about hating African Americans. It was about learning from the only African American, well, the other African American there who was there to do interviews. But also, they put me on the docket to speak to everyone. So I was basically a representative of the African American and the plight of the African American and poor Americans and Native Americans around the world at this conference or. As I spoke to them, 
they started to understand about me and the plight of African Americans. No one's ever spoke to them about this before, coming from the background that I've come from, Detroit, Michigan, and Orange County, California. They started to understand during this conference, Dennis Armstrong came after I already met with all the higher ranks of the Klan. 